Well, howdy, y'all. This is Hickey Bicky Polite coming to you. Have I got a story of a story to tell you today? I got to ask you, have you ever had a self-inflicted wedgie? Now, you might be asking yourself, well, what is a self-inflicted wedgie? Well, I'm going to tell you today. The definition of a self inflicted wedgie is like this. It's an uncomfortable tightening of the underpants between the buttocks. And I'm sure you guys have had it, you know, and uh, you might say, oh, no, I never did, you know, but that's like saying you never farted before. And we're supposed to believe that, you know, but anyway, so the way it is, is you know, me and the wife, we're sitting over there, you know, we're going to go to our favorite store, you know, we're going to go to Maynard's, you know, so, you know, we get out of the car, you know, we get in and we're checking out all the sales and stuff, you know, and then all of a sudden, I mean, I'm in the middle of the store, man, and it is crowded and you can't help it, but you feel exactly like that definition i mean you feel like it's like in between your buttocks but it, it it ain't just the underpants don't ask me how it happens i mean you know because you're sitting in the car you don't feel it while you're sitting but all of a sudden man you feel that not only the underpants but it seems like the pants too i mean it's all just crumped up in there and you know and you're you start then once you realize it you start kind of walking funny you know and you know because you're, try, you're trying to get that uncomfortable feeling out so it's like you know well you know how the heck am i going to do this well i created four points and you can try either one of them you know i got recommendations there's four options that you have to try to get this thing taken care of without being noticed okay so as i wrote this down you know, we're going to, let's see, we got the four options. Okay, option one, I call it the leg shakening. You might be like, what's the leg shakening? Well, it'd be like, you know, you're walking, you know, you're looking around, making sure nobody's looking at you. And you kind of like take your left leg and, you know, and you kind of shake it in the air a little bit, you know, trying to open up the butt talks so that, you know, the, uh, you know, uncomfortable feeling might pop out, you know, and if it doesn't work with the left, you know, then you, you might take that leg, you know, and shake it out and try to get it, you know, on the right side, you know, man, believe it, believe me, if I could figure out a way to, to do it, you know, with both legs, but it's impossible, you know, we can't fly, you know, but you know, that's option number one, you know, does it work? No, not really. Now, option number two, you know, you can blow it out and you're like, blow it out. And I'm like, well, you know, you know, yeah, do fart, you know, so you can maybe see if you can push it out with a fart. I don't recommend that because I'll tell you why I tried it. And when you try it, the unfortunate part about it is it may make a noise, which then everybody's looking around the store like, you know, who did that? You know, and then of course, you know, the scent comes with it, you know, and then you really messed yourself up because if option number two doesn't work, then you have to go to option number three. And that's where it becomes real bad because option number three is what I call the two finger pull. Okay. But now if you already did option number two and your pants are stinking, now you're going to stink up your fingers, you know, because you're going to do the two finger pull. And what's that? That's where you look around, you know, you look like this and you look like that, you know, and when nobody's looking, you kind of real quickly, like you grab them fingers, you know, and you try to pull it out, you know, and it may work and it may not. You know, I've had it where it was all bunched up in there. I maybe got the the outside of the pants to release, but I still had my underwears, you know, and it was crammed up in there. So it's like, man, now what am I going to do? You know, and you might try it again, you know, but you're going to get caught, man, because, you know, you're just kind of flicking around trying to get it out, you know, and you're kind of like pretending you're looking at something, you know, and uh, but I don't recommend that one. What I recommend is option four. I call it the full hand grab. You might as well get it over with. You're uncomfortable for one. You know, you're going to look around, you know, and hope that nobody's going to be there. And the quickest action that you could come up with is just grab it and just pull it all out, you know. So I'll sit there, you know, and I'll be looking around, but never fails, you know. I'll sit there and I'll lift up a leg a little bit, kind of grab it, and I'll pull it out. And sure enough, you look, and there's somebody looking at you. So you kind of like give a, <laughs> you know, like this type of deal, you know, and uh, hoping that they'll just, uh, 
you know, kind of look away or something, but, you know, they'll kind of look at you, too, and kind of give you a smell, you know, or not a smell, a smile, rather, you know, but, uh, uh, that, one, that one there I thought was kind of funny smell, yeah. They probably smell it too, you know, especially if you did the the, the option number two with the, with the blowing it out and, you know, it didn't work and you stood in the same spot or moved a little bit away, they could have walked right into that, you know. And so, you know, I don't, again, I don't advise that because, you know, but my recommendation is the all or nothing. That just do the full hand grab, you know. So, um, cause you don't want to be uncomfortable. So my recommendation is before you get into a store, when you get out the door of your car, keep the door open a little bit, you know, but keep your butt, your buttocks to the, uh, uh, seat, you know, and if you feel like it's, you know, make it known to yourself, do I feel like I got me a wedgie? And if you do pull it out there before you get into the store, because, you know, it's it's quite embarrassing. I have, though, I do have another option. You can find some lawn furniture. They always got some sort of furniture in there, you know. And you can sit down like in one of them swings, you know. And as you're swinging, you look around and you lift up a little bit. And you can do a little pull here or there. You know, you might get away with that a lot better than, you know, doing the full hand grab, all, you know, out in the open or whatever. So, I hope these options here helped you out for the next time you get your self-inflicted wedgie, you know, and make sure that you don't forget to do the like and the subscribe button so I can bring you here more stories. And as always, have a blessed day.